Hello guys. Um, okay, today I'll be creating a really simple car park application for Android. Um, it's actually a university assignment from Advantage module, and um, the basic task is to choose and develop a one-page university-related application. So it could be like anything to do with university, any part of the university. Um, I haven't really started it, so I thought I should record myself as I build it. Okay, so all I've done till now is create a new project. Um, and I chose the empty activity and um, yeah, so I can basically have like a couple of text fields here and like a book button But then I thought of like making it a bit more fancy All right, so I've created this template on Photoshop Basically the whole of this will be my background and like all of this is like just an image basically and um, yeah I have this conform button here, which I think I'll separate it so yeah, we actually are told to run it on a Nexus 5 emulator, which comes with Android Studio. I wouldn't really recommend it doing it this way, as it won't work on different screen sizes. But I'm too lazy, and I'm too lazy to do all the styles and stuff. So yeah, it will work on my emulator. So I'll just like work with this. So I'll just add a couple of transparent text fields on top of this in my Android app, and um, this will work as a button. Okay, so. I have saved these two images here and I just have to like import it to my application. Um, resources and it should be in the drop of folder so just drag and drop would work. Okay. Project, my application, app, source, main, resources and maybe here. Um, do I want to move it? Yes, I do. Okay, so let me go back to my Android view. My part, uh, where is it? Yeah, here. Okay, the first thing I want to do is like get rid of this title bar. The way I'll have to do that is um, go to values, style, and then add no, uh, yeah, no action bar. I think that will do. Yeah, worked. Okay, next I'll have to like add the background. And um, I'll just get rid of this hello wall text view for now. Okay, and let's go to the design view. Um, Select a layout and I will use, um, which I think a relative layout is good because I can drag and drop everything anywhere I want. Um, so in the text, I wanted the which should fill the parent and the height as well. Um, I'm not sure what these are, but okay. And the background should be drawable. Should be the main. Yeah. Okay, so let me just zoom in. Alright, uh, the next thing I want to do is add the submit button, the book button, sorry. Um, images, it should be an image view. Can put it right there. And I'm also at this button here. Okay, let me just set the size in the card. Um, image view and let me set the ID as well on form the width should be let's say um, 1200 or something 190 dp and um, the height should be on 50 now 45 dp yeah I think that's good enough and uh, just put it right there. Okay, the next thing I want to do is like add all the text fields for six of these. So I'm just going to drag and drop each of those. The text view right there. And then, come on. Okay, so stretch it a bit.
Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, another one right there. Same thing again. Okay, I'm just gonna pause this video and like once I'm done, I'll unpause it. Okay, I've like added all six of these text views, but I just realized I made a mistake, like a really big one. It shouldn't be text views, but instead like a plain text, cause like I want to input the text. But um, what I can do is like just replace all the text views. Um, I can control F. Select all and edit it and replace it with edit text. I think that will work. Yeah, it's still there, so I hope it works. And um, yeah, so edit text is basically this plain text here where I can enter a text. And um, yeah, so let me just explain one more time what all these buttons are. So here the user enters the name, the student ID, the registration number, maybe the car registration number, the spot they are parked in, the hours they'll be there, and um, this will like automatically calculate the total of their park. Okay, and um, I need to do two things with every text field. The first one is like set a, a an ID. So. This is the image view. This is the first one. I want to set the ID to name. And then this is the second. Ah, bloody hell. Let me do it from the design. Control Z. Okay, so for the first one, the ID should be name. The second one, um, yes. The second one, the ID should be um, ID. And um, if you notice, I have like small text here. It says edit text. I have to like get rid of all of those as well. So, oh, come on. Okay, get rid of that. Same thing here, get rid of it. Um the registration number. Um I can give it the ID of Reg maybe. Uh Reg and um get rid of the text. The next one is the spot number, the ID should be spots. Get rid of the text. The hours should be hours. Gain text. And the total. It's. Uh, total. And um, remove the text. And um, the button. Yeah, we've done that. Okay, and um, the second thing was to change the font color for each of these. So I can just uh, change the color this way. I think it is text color to white, which is FFF. And um, copy this line in every other one. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, and one more. Six. Yeah. I think we are done for the design part, and now let's go to the implementation. These do work, look fine. So, yeah, let's start implementing this. The first thing I want to do is like call all the variables, uh, the IDs which I've set. So, uh, text view ah, oh, it's a capital T text view. Um, the first one was name, 
God. The second was ID Reg Spots Um what else was there? There was hours I think hours and total Yeah six um, total and um the last one was an image view so image view and what I did is we give conform was it conform um save all right and um inside the on create I want to initialize all of this so um the name should equal less uh cast it to a text view text view um I want to how do I find it? How do I search for the ID? Find yeah, find view by ID and it was R dot ID dot name. Um copy six of these two, three, four, five, six ID ID Reg Reg Spot okay, I've done the rest and um the last one should be the image view so conform equals to cast it to an image view image view find view by ID R dot ID dot conform. Yeah, we have them all. Okay, so what we want to do now is so as soon as the user clicks a button, I should run a piece of code. So I should set a, a listener on the conform button. So conform dot, dot set on click listener. Um, I don't remember the syntax, but let me just pause it and I'll get back here in a minute. Okay, I found it. So we were here. The next thing was to set a new button. Dot. I don't think it really matters if I keep a button or a, or an image view. But then button dot on click listener. Um, and um, inside should be my on click method. So public void on click. Um, give it a view. Um, v. Okay, so yeah, so once I click the button, the first thing I want to do is make sure none of the fields are empty and the way I do this is um so if name dot get text dot um to string is empty or ID dot get text dot to string is empty and the same for the rest of this. Okay so if none of these are empty, I want to do something. I can um, bring up an alert or actually in my background, uh, let me close this. Well, if I zoom in here, you can see, oh, come on. Design. And then you can see I have a tiny black box here. And that's why I want to display my error message. So here I should add a text view. Okay, um, give it an ID of um message maybe. And then um, remove the text from inside, and um set the color. So a text color is white yeah I think that's fine so okay let's go back to our Java file so if 
any of this are empty. What I want to do is um okay, I have an initialized message. Sorry. Uh, text view message command initialize it here so message cast it to text view find view by ID or dot ID dot message yeah all right so I want to display an error message there Right, so message dot set text. I mean, the error can be maybe fill in everything. And um, I can also set the color. So if it's an error, it should be a red color. So message dot set color. Yeah, set color. And I um, can take a color dot red. All right, let's test if this works. I'm gonna run this right now. Okay, I have a text view here, but then if I confirm, these fields are empty, so it tells me to fill in everything, but then I have to solve that problem there. I should remove this text here. Yeah, that's fine. So till now it works. So if a field is empty, display a message, an error message. The second thing, okay. So if it's not, continue with the rest of the code, right? So if it's not, and now, what I want to work with, this video is getting really long, so I'll just like work with a spot right now. So if a spot is taken, you can't like, someone else can park in the same spot so if spot dot contain so if spot dot no wait I need an array for that to save everything so I'll use a, an array list here so a list List into a string can have an int as well, but yeah, string spot. I've okay, spot is equal to new array list, array list, and um, yeah, I think that's the way to do it. So, so if the value of spot is in spots display, uh, display an error right because they can't like park in the same spot so if spots dot contains yes um spot dot get text dot to string so if it contains this let's copy the error message copy paste red um, we can say spot already taken, right? Okay, so we've worked with the spots. So, okay. And else for that as well. So if it's taken, the spot is already taken. And if it's not taken, we should add that value to the array list. So spots dot add dot add um spot dot get text I think yeah spot dot get text dot to string because okay, so I added to the array list and then I display a message to say it is successful so let me just copy this again and um this time it should be green uh I don't know Parking confirmed, confirmed with a smiley, whatever. Okay, how much have we done? What's remaining? So 
So no field can be empty. The spot, and we have to work with the hours in total as well. So back to the Java. So after all this is done, I outside the else. Um, I should calculate the total. So total dot set text. Um, the text should be okay. It should it should calculate a value. So let me let me create a method for that. Calculate um total, and um, let me create that. So right outside everything, um, private should be a double, double calculate total, and um, so we are returning a double. So double uh, i is equal to hours dot get text, but this will be a string. So we need to pass it to one end. So double dot parse double. Yeah, this will convert it to a double thing. And um, our parking fee, let's say it's three fifty an hour. So times three point five. And then return to the ball. Return I. So get the hours from what the user entered, multiplied by our parking fee, and return it. So okay, this should work. Set text double. Okay. Okay, the text is a string, and I'm getting a double. So I should convert this double to a string, right? So string, wait, it's double to string, so double the two string, yeah, I think we've done everything, this is it, let's just test it out now. Okay, so name, okay, the first thing, fill in everything, that works. So, man, okay, I have to bring the text piece down, but I'm not going to do it in the video. Student ID should be anything random. Registration, something. The spot should be, let's say, one, two, three. And that the hours I want to park for is four. So, this should be disabled as well, so I cannot edit it. But then four now. Oh, so long. And um confirm. Yeah, so I think the value is fourteen here. So it takes my hours multiply by three fifty and parking confirmed. So if I try to park in the same place again, so let me just confirm it again. Spot already taken. And if I change it to something else. I want to forward this in. Parking confirmed. Yeah, that works. So yeah. So basically, this is my app, and I'm sorry if I haven't like done it really well, explained it well, but I just created it as I was like making the video as well. So so yeah. Basically, like for the remaining small things, I can just like bring the small bugs. I can bring everything down. Okay, like not now, I have to like fix all of this. And um, total should be disabled. So, okay, how do you do it? So, disable. Uh, what was the function? Oh, what's wrong? Oh, disable. Look, okay, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm not really sure, but then what I can do is change this into a text view um text view so it will just be a plain like label and um it's not editable so if i run this one more time 
Um, 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 um. Yeah, so the conform is not like clickable. So Salman, student ID, random, spot number 89, 99, 10 hours, conform, 350. So this is not editable. So yeah, basically this is my really simple project which I have to do. It's like a half term project I had. But yeah, I'll like just fix some of this and maybe add the login and registration screen and then submit it in. But I hope this helps and um, please don't leave a negative review because I'm I was learning while doing this, to be honest. Yeah, nice. Thank you for watching and have a great day.